So in this brief lecture, I want to say a little bit about why foreign aid is difficult, focusing in particular on the knowledge problem and the incentive problem. Here's the knowledge problem in a nutshell. Think about how hard it is to get your cousin or even your wife a Christmas present that they actually want. Now imagine that the person you have to get a gift for, a present for, lives in a developing country and you've never met them before. Moreover, they have lives which are completely different than your own. They have problems which you have never experienced and probably never will experience. How are you going to get them a gift which they actually want and can use? Moreover, the one thing about getting a gift for your wife for Christmas is you'll learn pretty quickly whether you got the right gift or not. So there's plenty of feedback there. In the case of giving a gift to a person in a developing world, giving them some aid, you're never going to get feedback. You're never going to hear back from them whether you actually got them something which was useful to them. That's the knowledge problem in a nutshell. Now think about the incentive problem. The incentive problem requires us to be quite honest. When we give, are we really giving to help other people or are we giving to make ourselves feel good? The problem is it's much harder to actually help people than it is to make ourselves feel good. And indeed, the things which make us feel good, perhaps you know, giving a cow to somebody in a developing world, an easy to explain story which has some resonance, perhaps those kinds of stories which make us feel good are actually not the best ways to help people in developing countries. Nevertheless, maybe if we don't really want to help them, if we want to get the warm glow, we don't want to do, have to do the hard work. We don't want to have to do the hard work learning about what really helps. It's easier to take the shortcut and do the thing which just simply makes us feel good. So donor incentives are not very good, and the lack of feedback enhances this because we don't have the incentive to do the work to find out what actually helps them. And we're never going to hear back that we did the wrong thing. So it's easy to fool ourselves that we did the right thing. Let me give you an example. When the earthquake hit in Haiti quite recently, for some reason a whole bunch of groups uh, started off to send shoes to Haiti. Uh, Souls for Souls was one of these groups. Don't want to pick on them too much, but Here's a really uh, illustrative quote of the knowledge problem and the incentive problem from Wendy Bumgardner writing on about.com. She says, Do you have shoes in your closet that you could wear but never do? The survivors in Haiti need those shoes. Declutter your closets while helping people in Haiti. What kind of shoes? Any shoes. Dress shoes, athletic shoes, casual shoes. So what are we really learning here? Well, first of all, look at how much of this quote is not about how to help people in Haiti. It's about helping yourself. Do you have shoes in your closet that you could wear but never do? Declutter your closets. So we're being told this is a very low-cost way of helping people. You can actually help yourself. You can declutter your closets while helping people in Haiti. Moreover, you don't have to think very much about the people in Haiti or what they need. We're told, in fact, what kind of shoes? Any shoes. It doesn't matter what kind. You don't have to think about what they need in Haiti. Any of the shoes in your closet, which are cluttering up your closet, any of them will do. Dress shoes, athletic shoes, casual shoes, doesn't matter. You don't have to think about it. In point of fact, sending shoes to Haiti is a terrible idea. Shoes are a low-value, high-transportation-cost good, and they require a lot of sorting and distribution once they get there. You know, in the case of uh, Honduras after Hurricane Mitch, there was so much low-quality goods which were being sent to the ports of Honduras, uh, nominally in order to help people, that uh, troops, American troops, couldn't get really high-value goods like medicines, water, uh, anti-diarrheal uh, medicines and so forth, tarps. They couldn't get these high-value goods uh, into Honduras quick enough because the ports were just being clogged by all of these low-value goods. So I think what we see here, we see here the knowledge problem. Uh, it's hard to know exactly what the people in Haiti need if you're not an expert. And the incentive problem, the person here is not really concerned about what people in Haiti need, more concerned about what's going to make them feel good.
Thanks.